How's it going, Mike? Hey, Murph. Oh, no. Mature blood and violence. Does that just mean there's adult situations and, like, people paying taxes? Violence. Oh, wait, this is in the future. There's only war. Duh. And hammers. You know, because you gotta do stuff around the house. I've got to hang up this picture <laughs> in a minefield. God. So this is Space Marine. This is actually, I've played this game before on PS3. <laughs> you traitor! This is on Xbox 360. I think it's basically the same, right? Yeah, yeah. And this is in the Warhammer 40k universe. Which is actually a really, really cool universe. It's certainly grimdark. It is certainly grim. I, I really, I, I think it's pretty cool. I, I actually, in when the, you talk in the, in grim, the grim dark, dark. <laughs> so I, <laughs> <laughs> well, something you told me I thought was actually really, really funny. Uh huh. Uh, so we're just gonna skip this because yeah. it's cutscene. Right. This is this is a game about hitting people with a chainsaw sword. Yes. And being a space marine. Right. So, I have to be honest with you. I don't know that much about the space. Or about the 40k universe, mm -hmm. um, I knew that war like the Space Marines were bigger humans. Like I know that they were like they were big mech dudes. Uh, I did know that they were like genetically modified humans with like four hearts and like yeah, there's some kind of crazy like yeah, it's fucking. In this game, you walk next to normal people, yeah. and the the pistol that you're using is their turret. Right. Again, it oh, is yeah. it's fucking it's men. Right. Yeah, these are they're they're literally not up to your waist. Yeah. They're, this is just like hyper whatever, dark, violent, grim, dark, war, whatever. Well, but uh, what what you told me that I thought was like super duper funny. Right, we're gonna, oh, we can't take this. Oh, oh no, yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, cool. What I thought was super funny was the fact that apparently the orcs, which are what we fighting, we're fighting right. space orcs. Space right, orcs. So we're just gonna smash these things. <laughs> oh, this reminds me a lot of the uh, obligatory tutorial. Where you so you're fighting the goblins, the demons. There's an actual one. Yeah. Well, yeah. But apparently they're they're psychics. Yeah, like that's the general whatever uh, explanation as to why why all their technology, which is just like not should not work, right? Like like they have like all these cars and spaceships, but they're like really dumb. And the reason that it works is because they're the most powerful psychics in the universe, and they believe that it'll work. So this reminds me so much, though, of um, the Splatterhouse game that came out. Oh yeah, like with the bloody. Oh, you got some nice shooting gun. Man, this is actually just a really solid like, 3D action game. They don't really make a lot of it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, no, no. I agree. Kind of a shame because it is, it's pretty dang good. I can't, I don't like the last one was like, was the Dark Siders or something? Yeah, Dark Siders. Oh, uh, Dark Siders is so good. Yeah, it's, it's kind of in that vein. I guess they're still making God of War, like there's one coming up, right? Where he's like, in, he's like a, what is it? Yeah, well, I think Viking? it's just God of War again, yeah, which, uh, yeah, like, okay. And I, we were, we were being. We were throwing some shade on God of War and uh, Sonic Unleashed, but I think that was more the Sonic Unleashed topic. Oh, man. <laughs> well, because it, it was, like, quite literally, it's just not, it's not, it's a not so good right. God of War. And I don't think, I don't think God of War is the best God of War, if that makes any sense. No, I, I, I actually, Darksider, you talked about, probably this is one of the better ones. Get My favorite. I'm trying to think of some other really good, like, 3D action platformer. Uh, I don't know if they de-emphasize the platform. This is actually a pretty decent one. If I remember right. It's been a long time. So you can execute dudes, get some help back, right. just don't do shit. Yeah. So, there's some fun facts about this game that I know. Uh, it kind of ends a little weirdly and like kind of abruptly. Like, like, you defeat the bad guy, but they're like, oh no, the bad guy got away with a big thing. This was supposed to be like a trilogy. Oh, uh, was it? Yeah. And so, like, and because, you know, there's, like, space marines, and then there's, like, the lone wolf, whatever, marines, like, there's the space wolves, yeah. which are, like, not aligned with the Empire or something, but they're still, like, the guy. So then that was going to be, like, the second game. And then the third game was going to be with the Chaos Space Marines, where it's, like, they're actually just, like, bad guys. And you're, like, you're going to play one of those. I'm 
not gonna lie, playing the Chaos Space Marine sounds pretty dope. Right. You, Cause I they think, get fucking demons and stuff. Right. But I think they, they show up in this game, but you always just fight them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't, eventually, yeah, so... You only play it this time. Right. Um... Cause I've, I've definitely beat this game. It's been a long time since I've played it. I forget if you fight the Eldar in this game. Which are the Space Elves. This literally is, like, right. just space stuff. Right. Like, it's, it's, it's fucking, yeah, it's fantasy in space. Right. So there's demons. But that is pretty cool. Yeah. No, it's a neat kind of twist. I guess. Like, I'm not gonna, it's, it's 40k, and it's been around for, what, 50 years now, probably? So. You just uh, rotate the turn. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Disable the orc ship. Yeah, like that should that has that has wood on it. That should not be in space. <laughs> should not be in space. I'm just saying. He disables the ship while on it. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh maybe I fucked up. No, he didn't. He would never think that, because he is a space marine. That's true. I uh I played the game on the PC, uh Dawn of War, the first one. Mm, the tactical, and the second one, the yeah, real time tactical. tactical. Yeah. yeah. And uh they are quite interesting. Yeah, they're and uh when you get to hear like like, they have a lot more dialogue in those games than this. The, uh, they are fanatical as fuck. Yeah, oh yeah. It's, like, I did not know that they were that bad. It's it's a grim, dark future, and no one's the but good guy. Yeah, yeah. You know? Like, uh... But it is, it's crazy how, like, fanatical they are. Oh, oh yeah. Like, they're, like, super religious zealots. Well, I mean, there's, there's the god emperor. And he's basically just preventing demons from exploding from your head. Like, if... If the Emperor died, that's what we what would happen. And then, oh, title. Because it's a movie. <coughs> but uh, as you go along, like right now, I've got this big knife. Um, I guess it would Captain be like Titus a fucking broadsword to a human. Damned orc yeah. shot me off course. <laughs> With a handle that would not I've be had possible. Word from right. the but uh, as you go but along, you got like, like power Imperial hammers, and laser swords, oh, yeah, like chainsaw the swords. Like, the line. knife is like the least interesting weapon, fighting. right? Yeah, so Heading towards the I have a, what they call now. it a bolter pistol. I will meet you there. Yeah. It shoots like real big pieces of hot like metal. Because you can't just shoot bullets, that's not cool. <laughs> well, like the idea in 40k is there's just so many humans because they're like spread across the galaxy. Like an actually really good weapon is better than like any human because it's all like lost technology and stuff like that. Like nobody knows how to make bolter pistols anymore, so they just gotta have to they, they can only give them to the space marines, right? Otherwise, you just you just give that stuff to like a human, right? I did not know that. Yeah, no, it's all like that's the idea. Like the idea is like the humans have like a really cool and good technology, but they can't like make more. So they're just like, uh, all right, I guess we'll give them to these really good guys. And the orcs are just like we're strong and numerous, and the tower. The elves are like, oh, we're a decaying empire. <laughs> what is going on? I don't know. You're not, you're not, you gotta go the correct. You gotta act correct. This game does get rather hard near the end, though. Yeah, it's. it's I remember, it's, like, there's a part where there's, like, a bunch of mortars and enemies, and, like, I was just getting, like, over, like, just, just too much. <laughs> I mean, eventually, yeah, you stop fighting little baby orcs like this one. Oh, here we go. Pick up the bolter. Okay, so I had a regular pistol before. And now you got a big old bolter. I got a bolter. So the bolter is unlocked. Uh, oh. It's a battle rifle. Let's fire it. I feel we should fire it into some orcs. This so. Okay, you got a bolt system. Now you got a bolter. Yeah. Man, this game. You know what? They're doing all these HD remakes. I think this game could probably deserve one. Or, it probably didn't let's sell make well the enough. second one. Yeah, that's true. I don't think it's sold very well. That, that is the Which problem. is a shame because yeah. it's actually not that bad. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of like it's weird, it's cool, it's neat. This you know what what I mean? said I, they made another really bad Call of Duty. You know what they should do is make the um, the Shadow of Mordor of this game. Oh man! You know, put that nem. God, when are they going to put that Nemesis system in something else? Like, maybe not call it the Nemesis system. But, I mean, this game already has orcs. <laughs> oh, it's oh, ammo. Ammo. Of course, you need some ammo. Oh, there's some that or the turret or something. Kind of want to see what a speedrun is. Would it be either really glitchy or not? Size. They don't really run. They don't really speedrun. I mean, they 
Someone yeah, does. I mean, yeah, somebody has. But I, I, I would agree this is probably not the best. Yeah. Pain yeah. to speed. Also, if I remember correctly, the ammo fills you full. Right. So, like, if you're, like, really chintzy with your ammo. Yeah, like if you if you just waste all your ammo, then reload, then you're gonna be your Yeah. But I mean, being in the Space Marine is not about being like, oh, I can serve ammo. It's yeah. About, <laughs> oh, there's 600 orcs. Let me fire at them wildly. Well, this gun is it's a like a dry shot. Mm -hmm. so you, you shoot once and you get like three bullets out. Yeah. Okay. It's good. It feels. It looks like it feels good. Uh, yeah, I would say the aiming can be a little stiff. Yeah, I mean, but it's it's. This is good. But I mean, this this game also wants to encourage you to melee. That's the idea. Yeah, yeah. and the and the finisher. Oh, is free, which is like right. Right. It's, 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 This is kind of like Goku. Okay. What? No. <laughs> oh, you're just sitting there like. I am a badass. <laughs> Everything. Oh, Jesus, he just shot his legs off. Yeah, duh. <laughs> what are you doing, you fucking bitch? He's yeah. dead. Uh, are you wounded? Let's see. Is he wounded? Yeah, whatever. Let's go. He doesn't even Semi. answer. He just says the codex needs to be. It's also really cool because, like, you get seals on your armor. Like, the armor is very elaborate. Oh, yeah. And it makes no sense. But apparently those seals are like magic and they actually like give you benefits. Right. We all let's do it. But there are also benefits to thinking for yourself. Come on, let's let's get this cutscene. This is oh, all story. Yeah, you're right, you're right. This is what I don't care about what this guy thinks about rules. Enemy sighting. Rules and regulations. Yeah. Oh man, can you imagine? yeah, with a new generation of like power behind this game, or you just have just a horde of dudes? Or in. Oh yeah, yeah. This game would be dope as shit. And the controls, like, they're not bad. They're they are yeah. a little stiff. Like, imagine this game running like real fresh. Like, oh, oh my man. god. Yeah, I'm into this. Uh, well, I guess maybe we'll see what they do. Yeah, I mean, there, there's still possibility. One they day. still make Warhammer games on occasion. Oh yeah, the miniature. They did a uh, Total already. War. Uh, well, up I haven't played that yet. That was, that was Warhammer Total War. That's not I want to play that. I, want to play that. I, want to know how I did pre-order it, because for pre-ordering you need to get a bonus. Okay. Oh, so we do get to see humans. Yep, so three. look, that is a human yeah. compared to you. Like, yeah, okay, we didn't get as close as I probably yeah. would have liked. But, uh... Yeah, so, okay, they are they are about... Let's, yeah, that's a full they're, grown... they're about, like, yeah, fully grown human is about just over my waist. But that's still like when you think about it, that's insane. Yeah. Like my arm is the size of like his torso. Order effects going on. Uh... Hey, there's some things you're gonna save them, right? Oh, oh this is grim dark. That's true. Yeah, you're, gonna, you're gonna save them until the last one. Oh, I can save them. Oh wait, man, the guy has a turret. Yeah, I think he's dropped off his turret. Let him have his turret. <laughs> Let me have my turret. Yeah, there's no chopping me down. Let my own go. Yeah. Yeah. No, they're not that small. I I don't. That seems that's probably on the video game. I think canonically they are. You had it pretty. Right. No, no, no. I think these are these are also modified people. No, they're not. Those are just normal dudes. That's the Imperial Guard. Oh shit! They're just normal dudes. Because later in the game you see civilians and they're really tiny. Uh, that could be just poor gameplay. <laughs> Someone just didn't get the memo. Yeah. See, these are just you normal dudes. Us. Yeah, the Imperial Guard. Rise, guards. And the Imperial Guard so work yourself. with. The space marines they're like the the normal like soldiers right and the space marines are like the this is where we care where we about. find this right At the front so, well they don't really care they care about the network. network right right but you know what i mean right? yeah. like, <laughs> space marines are kind of worth something yeah this humans, are humans are not humans are dirt dirt humans remarkable all right so i want to see if we can get to a better 
my tone. Because there is a chainsaw sword, and let me yeah, tell you, that's a cool that one. shit is dope as fuck. I kind of hope we get to it. It's a chainsaw for a sword. Right. But, well, I mean, very obviously Gears of War took some influence with their gun chainsaw sword. Captain, I'm in <laughs> From the Warhammer. At a now, broken monument Gears of War came out lines. before this game, but the Warhammer yeah, universe right. has been around yeah, for since the 80s? At least, probably 70s. God damn, dude. It's, it's pretty old. Cool. It's pretty cool. Yep. Okay, let's see if we can... Are we going to get a boss fight? That might be a good... Uh, I'm just going to... Oh, here we go. Here's something right, cool. So we got, we got let's see what this thing is. Yeah! Really yeah. For chainsaw yeah. sword! Let's do it. So I'm going to whip it out. Yeah. That is a chainsaw sword. Chainsaw sword unlocked. Uh, it's the same thing as the other one. <laughs> Use that chainsaw sword. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at you guys getting in wrecked. Oh, I'm trying to, they keep dying. <laughs> the change of sword is too powerful. There we go. Oh. have names like Shooter Boys and yeah. it's pretty great. Yeah, I'm, I'm But the mixture of the combat is generally like pelt them with some bullets to thin out the horde and then they get close and then you kill them. Yep. Pretty much. Soccer hooligans is like the uh, uh, this is like a white white dwarf in the uh kind of thing. Huh. Yeah. Those darn bricks. Target uh, those quicks. Those little bombs. Yeah. <laughs> New enemies. These are bombs. You want to shoot these? Do not melee the bomb. Are you it, sure? It's probably okay if you melee a bomb. <laughs> I probably would. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fucking beef boy there. Yeah. What? Eat some big beefy bowls. Dijono. Where the f am I supposed to go? Where is this forward? There you go. Yeah, like over that way. Just jump uh, jump it down. Or not jump down. If you, yeah, you have to. Oh. <laughs> well, it turned out okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you got your Halo shield because this is a shooter after Halo. Kaboom! Ah, that's fine. Don't run with the bombs, is the uh, the lesson kids. But it works believe that bombs make them happy. Uh, sometimes they're okay. They're grenades. Throw them grenades. Do it. Throw grenades. Throw grenades. Throw all the grenades. not work that way, but goddamn what if you just Oh, you guys got wrecked. Alright, yeah. I gotta shoot this one. They do tell you to shoot the red barrels. The red barrels are out. It's a little fun. I mean, how else 
what I'd be careful. Grenades or combo attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. We thought. I mean, that's that's impressive yeah, like, when you think about like how. But yeah, this game is actually pretty cool, and it's probably like three bucks right now. Uh, right? Yeah. Old 360 or PS4 game? Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, PS3. Yeah, sorry, PS3. I wish. I got Metal Gear Solid 4 for 89 cents last night. Dude, that's such a good deal. Yeah. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 4 is a very good game. Used, but still. All right. Well, where can they find you, Mike? You can find me at Maximum Tomato. At Dork Night Show. We are free of the clutches of Sonic Timber. Sonic Timber's over. Oh, and until next year. No. Chili dogs. Chili dogs. Do you know his miles per hour? <laughs> God damn it.